Hey YouTube, um, this is uh, the team team here. Um, Kevin here, bringing you a deck profile of a deck I ran at Gen Con Indie. Top 4 Dragon Duel, I have an invite to Nat, so yeah, it's a pretty good competition there. It's harder than you think for the Dragon Duel. Um, so yeah, um, recap on YCS. Went XO first two rounds, and then last two games, the three red plants, so I just dropped and did the Dragon Duel. So, yeah, um, I really want to do the Dragon Duel, just see how good I do, try and top four so I can get an invite to Nats and this nice Cessadari mat. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys a deck I ran, YCS and, um, the Dragon Duel. Um, I did a couple events, did a win a mat, lost in the semis to, I don't know, some guy, um, did regional qualifier once, did lost to tour guide plants. I've never beaten tour guide plants before. Just too hard. Um I lost I played um also Tengu Plant and I lost the semifinal to win that. And I think that's all I did. Um Yeah, I think that's all I did. So yeah, um yeah, I was gonna show, I'm gonna show you my the deck I ran. Did really well. Um, basically anti-meta, so yeah. Got triple alias. It's just gotta run them. In the search of my you got Shredos, so really good. Uh, uh one effect veiler because it gets over the meta and um kills things. Two Thunder King. Just gotta run it. I'm thinking about playing three. Two fossil dinas. Gets over plants, but they can Tango gets over it really easily, so that's a thing. Um, one Gale, Synchro something, really good. Um, main tuner, well, one of the only tuners, uh, one of the two tuners, half things gets over Stardust. Um, DD Warrior Lady, um, removes Dandy, it's really good. Snowman gets over everything almost. Um, Crusader, it's a Gemini monster and it's a good beat stick if you don't have no monster, you just go like, effect, normal summon again, attack 25, it's really good. And honest, because most of the things is light and it gets over Trishula. Like, they don't target right. Next spell's got um, double duality, I'm going to play three. Um, I'm gonna play one fossil and one more duality, and I'm gonna play um, on the side. Um, I'm I'm still thinking um of what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna side in um the. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep going. Um, I'm probably I'm gonna play Gores also. It's really good in the day. It work. It would work because I usually get down to OTKs because I only get like one sermon some per turn, so they get over that monster, they have a chance to like to hit me real good. So yeah. Um, three Gemini Sparks, because you're playing Gemini's. It's Miracle Gemini, I think. Um, double Miracle Fusion. Um, three is dead, but I'm thinking about playing three because sometimes I really need it. And yeah. One E-Call, because you're only playing four E-Heroes, and usually drawn to one or two first turn. And Stratos, you only have like two left, you only have two left in the deck. Rhoda. You only have one left in the deck with E Call, but it depends if you get DD Warrior Lady. Um, next, we got two MST. Really good card. Gets over freaking Necro Valley. Um, we got one Dark Hole, stable. Monster Reborn, stable. Um, Giant Trade, best card in the game right now. It's gonna get banned. It, it kills things. Just, it, like, gives you chances for OTKs. And Book of Moon. Next, got double warning. Just gotta play it. Triple D prison because it's anti meta basically. Gets you remove his stuff. Song judgment gets does everything. One torrential because torrential um, blows up stuff. Hero blast gets your extra alias. Blows up their tangu. Um, Royal Oppression, 
Um, good. This is one I'm probably going to take out because, um, I don't know why. It just doesn't help sometimes. I play a lot of anti-meta decks. I've been playing a lot of them. And so, yeah. Um, one Mirror Force, just staple, and seven tools on my tech. Um, it's really good. It gets over stuff, so. Saves you at the time. So, yeah. Um, it's the main deck. It does pretty good. Now, side deck. It's, I don't think it's any particular. Um, but yeah. It's really good side. We got double puppet plant. Gets over samurais. Super poly. Um, really good card. Just side in almost anything. One chain disappearance. I'd like to play two, but one is good for now. One nobleman across out for keepers. Cyber dragon. Um, really good card. Gets you a chimera tech, and that's just good. One malevolent against anti meta, mirror match, or, um, TGs. Uh, double D fissures. Um, place against plants. I usually set out my honest valor and, um, keep in, like, um, um keep the miracle fusions in sometimes because honest and valor are more dead than the miracle fusions because most of the time well they're not but honest and valor will be dead draws that's the problem so well whenever i side these in against plants i usually side in more cards which i get side out for honest and stuff one core destroyer gets over fairies debunk for um uh Works with, uh, whatchamacallit, um, I think it works with fairies, uh, with Master Hyperion, because you have to remove from your hand, it's effect in hand, so, um, and it gets over, um, Gores and Kalut, <laughs> um, so, yeah. One Mask Restrict for Ty, <laughs> lol, um, but if I ever face, like, a Frog Monarch deck, it's really good. One Valor, extra Valor, um, really good against, uh, Sam's no in first turn, so that's one's that's what wins games. Um then you got DD Crow moves their dandelion and dust tornado. Um dust tornado blows up their gateways. So yeah, that's the side deck. Extra deck. Play two shining. Just really good. One zero, really good. Gaia. Don't need to explain. Just basic elementary fusions. You're just boss like. Um, like Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. You side. Uh, there's nothing really else to play in this for the spot, but because I side in the Cyber Dragon, it's really good. Um, next we got Dragon Knight Draco Equist. Really good against um any like plants because they usually go for Scrap Dragon. Um, or uh. Stardust, whatever. So, yeah. Or you can even go for it if you want. Just super poly. Um, next you have Scrap Dragon if you, when you side in the, the, um, the Cyber Dragon. Or you want to go get Snowman, Alias, and Backbiller. But you do play Reborn, so it's easier to get in this. After that, because you play Crusader, Brionic, um, yeah, it's one of the easiest things to get into because you play uh, two threes and reborn, so it's really easy to get into it. One guy knight gets over stardust. Um, I'm doing um, piercing because against um, grave keepers. Um, armor master, armor master is good. Saves himself, lives a lot. Um, one contester. Um, it's really good. It saves yourself a lot. Just especially against plants. I don't know why it just does. One black rose if you ever wanna just blow up the field and start us because it's like mandatory synchro. So yeah, that's a deck. Um if you guys wanna see um my name is on if you wanna search my name up on Google it's Kevin Dichi. Um it's on the uh Saturday Stop Four Dragon Duel. Why see a con? Um, Sunday. Just, I don't understand Sunday. Um, 
Saturday, um, yeah, so I tapped Saturday and Friday, but there was no one there for Friday to review, so I tapped Sunday, Friday and Saturday. Um, and with that, um, I got the Gladiator Beast of Spider Man. They're mailing me a free, um, Dark World 2012 mat that hasn't even been released yet, which is pretty cool because, um, uh, it, it, you usually don't get that. You get this mat still. But yeah, since we call for 2012, we got the 2012 mats coming in at the end of August. So yeah, that won't be for sale. But this will be for sale if that mat actually does come in. Because I'm not sure if they are mailing it. Hopefully they do. If they don't, oh well. But this mat is for sale only if I get the Dark Room mat. So I'll make a video of that. So yeah, um, thanks for watching YouTube. Um, bye.